Hey guys, it's Landon from RH. This is another video I'm doing on Google Notebook LM, the coolest AI tool I have ever used. I've been pushing the boundaries of this thing, uh, and it, it's not perfect. I noticed it gives me some inconsistent output even with the same problems sometimes, but uh, but yeah, it's it's amazing. It's an amazing tool. So in this video. I'm going to basically show you how you can use Notebook LM as a kind of like a, a super search tool for uh, emails related to a particular project or particular subject. Now, I suspect at some point Microsoft will integrate Copilot into Outlook, but they haven't done that yet. Not, not in a way that lets you do what I'm about to show you. Now it's a little bit it's a little bit clunky because you have this problem like how do you get all the emails for let's say a particular project into Google Notebook LM. Right now that's a little bit clunky. So let me tell you briefly how I did it. So I used a tool um, called I think it's called Q Tools K U. Um, it's an add-on. It's a free add-on for Outlook. Now, it only runs in the older version of Outlook. It doesn't run in the newer version of Outlook. So it's QTools, KU. You come over here to QTools, and then you select some emails. So it can be all the emails in a folder, for example. You go to Bulk Processing, and then you save the selected emails in uh, different formats. I use PDF. Now, when you go in here, you, you want to make sure you check the header. When you save to PDF, or you're not going to get like the date and the sender and all that. You want that. You want to have that information in the PDFs. So you save those PDFs out using Q Tools. They're on the web. Check them out. And what you end up with is you end up a full, with a folder that looks like this with all the emails. Now that the, the problem with that is Google Notebook LM right now is a limited only let you upload 50 sources. So what I did was I combined all of these PDFs into a single master PDF file. I used Nitro Pro to do that. That's what we have, but there's lots of other tools you can use to combine PDFs. So I combined those into a single file and then I uploaded that file. So I've done this for two folders in my email inbox and I, I want to just show you what you can do once those initial steps are completed. So I've got the first one here. Uh, this one I didn't I didn't actually combine. I just exported the emails as text files. There was only 19 of them, and you can see I was I was messing around here a little bit. Um, so let me just show you what I did here. So I'm going to rerun this prompt. So I said, can you give me a timeline of all the emails, oldest to newest, in a list? Include the sender name, recipient recipient name, and a two or three sentence summary of the email content. And so it's going to do that. It's thinking about it, but it'll do that here for me. So here you go. It tells me sender, recipient, and the date. It's going oldest to newest, and it just gives me a little uh, two or three sentence summary of the email. So this, e for example, this email was from Jennifer to Landon. It concerns a PIX4D-matic trial. It inquires about Landon experience, provides links to the fact and licensing options. The email also offers to connect Lena with the technical sales engineer. Perfect. That's what I needed. Gives me this whole list here. Like that is super powerful. If you've got a large, you know, I think what we'll start to do on all of our projects as part of our project closeout procedures, we'll upload a master email, email file like this to Google Notebook LM and we'll run this summary and then we'll save that in our project documentation. So we can just save this here and, and we can rename it and we'll call it uh, chronological email summaries. So super handy. Now let's say you've got a, a huge file like this and you want to just go in and find some some simple information. So like you want to run like a like a supercharged query or search on this on all the emails. So I'm going to do that here. I'm going to say please. Show me the same type of summary for all emails that mention a total station. That's a type of surveying equipment. So I'm telling Notebook LM, go through all the emails now and give me the summary, but only if the email talks about total stations. 
So it's going to do that. So here you go. Here's, here's that same summary. Sender recipient date, but it's just the emails that talk about total stations. We could do something else. We could say, um, please provide the same summaries, but only for emails sent by Danny McConnell. So there you go, two emails sent by Danny Connell. So this is a super powerful search, super powerful search tool, right? Hang on one sec. Okay, so that's just kind of a, a basic idea. Let me let me jump over and show you this other project I did. So this is actually on a big land development project that we did a few years ago called Bellevue Ranch. So I've, I've uploaded, th this This had way more than 50, this probably had 250 emails, so it's, it's all in this master PDF now. It really does a great summary here. Just, this is the default summary. It says, the provided text consists of a series of emails primary, primarily concerning the Bellevue Ranch Development Project in Merced. Landon and his team, along with Benchmark, are talking with Joe Cardoza, the city. Oh, that's great. So let's just run that same prompt again. So we're going to say, give me a timeline. All the emails, oldest to newest in a list, include that information. Now this is going to take it a little while because this is, this is I don't know, I don't know if it's 200 emails or it's a lot. So we'll, we'll let that run real quick. All right, so it's done now. It's generated that summary and you, you can see, man, there's a lot of information here, right? But this is way easier than going through uh, your email inbox and trying to read the cryptic subject lines. Right? Like this summary is oftentimes is a lot better than the than the subject line. Uh, but we could say we could run that again. Well, we'll run it on a smaller set. So let's save that. We're gonna say chronological email summaries. Okay, so we'll go back here. We're gonna get a smaller list. We're going to say, please provide the same type of summaries for all emails that talk about delivering or providing files to the city of Merced. So now I just want to find out what, what emails are in here about files that are going to the city of Merced. So let's see what it comes up with. I'm going to take it a minute because there's a lot of information. All right, so here you go. Like here, here's the uh, here, here's the uh, now it didn't do exactly what I want wanted because it's it's catching emails here that are going from the city to uh, to other people and we want it, we want it only the other way. So let's run let, whoop, let's try and run that prompt again and we'll we'll see if we can give give it a little better. So we're going to say please do that. We're going to say don't include emails from Joe Cardozo or other city of Merced employees in the list. So we're going to see if we can get it to clean this up. So I only want emails that are going to the city. And sometimes you, you, you got to, okay, so now it did what I wanted. So these are only emails to the city. This is perfect, right? Now let's just say we want to include the subject line, please do that again. I'm going to say, please provide that same list again, but with the email subject line in parentheses. I don't know how to spell parentheses. I still don't think I spelled it right, but it's smart enough to know what I mean. Okay, so now I'm getting the the subject line in parentheses. Okay, perfect. So we could save this. We could save that and we could say, uh, we're going to say emails, sending files to the city. Now you don't just have to get this bulleted list. You can, you can ask it for narrative summary. So we can say, please provide me a narrative summary of all the emails sent from Nicole to Landon. 
I'm not sure if there's any emails in here from Nicole Landon, but it'll tell me. Okay, so here you go. Now, I, I didn't ask it. I didn't ask it. Um, see, I, I asked it for a narrative summary, but because of the history in the chat, I think, I think it's, it's given me a bullet list. I'm going to say, don't provide this as a bullet list. I'm trying to see if it'll give me a narrative paragraph or two. Yeah, it's just it's just having a hard time here. Oh, that's not what I want. So let's let's try this again. Please provide a two paragraph. Let's try that narrative of all the emails sent by Landon Blake to an employee of Benchmark Engineering. So let's see if it will give me a two paragraph narrative there. There it is. There's my two paragraph narrative. Um, giving you a good, a good summary, right? So that might be helpful. Uh, I think it's great. You know, you, you, this is awesome. So we'll save that to the note. Um, we're gonna say uh, two paragraph narrative summary of emails from Landon to Benchmark Engineering. Okay, and we'll save that. So hopefully you guys can see here the power of this, right? This is w way more powerful than this, the tools that are built into Outlook or sim similar email software. So I encourage you to check this out. It takes a little bit of work right now to get this set up, but I'm sure the tools will get better. And we're definitely going to start using this at, at my shop at RH.